Well, hello there. Oh yes, we are once again in the Mountain Blade Bannerlord multiplayer beta, and we are in the captain mode. This is the captain mode, and we're going to be playing... Oh yeah, this is a massive update, by the way. This was, I believe, 2.3 GB of update, and it is pretty crazy. As you can see, they have added a whole bunch more units, which is really quite cool. Okay, so... um. Yeah, there are no no points here. There are no, you know, skills or anything like that. Or, should we say, uh, there's no cost to the unit. So, we should have a pretty easy time with things here. I have... Oh, look at this! We've got a bunch of units that we're commanding. This is fantastic. Gonna move the camera back a little bit. And I'm gonna bring out my spear. Or my lance, or whatever it may be. Can I... Uh, oh, look at this. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is basically like a uh, sort of capture the flag kind of thing. Well, not capture the flag. It's like domination from Call of Duty or something like that. Where you capture the various flags. Oh, it seems like we're being attacked already. Hello there. Hello. I have no idea who... Oh, there we go. Okay, so we do have units this time around. So you can see here I have cavalry that I can tell to charge in. And, uh, wow, we're actually gonna, we're actually gonna do this. We're actually gonna, we're actually gonna go for this. Uh, shall, shall we go for this? <laughs> I don't know whether this is a good idea. I hope, I hope that I'm going the right way. And we're gonna, we're gonna do something here. Yes, there we go. Okay, I, I, I don't know whether I, I didn't actually do any damage there. But, oh well. Hopefully my forces can do some damage. Bear in mind that the enemy does appear to have spears, which is kind of bad. But there you go, I dealt some damage there, nice, not too bad. We're not taking any damage so far. And we've got to be a bit careful because the enemy is going to be quite good. They are going to be quite good with their wonderful... Wonderful, uh, <laughs> wonderful spears and everything. Yes, there we go. Tackle him. Tackle him. Okay, so I'm gonna actually bring my units back now. Oh, wow, okay, this is kind of harsh. I have no idea what I'm doing with the commands, by the way. This is the first game that I've played in Captain Mode. And apparently there's a bunch of people that we played with previously in this particular game mode. I don't know whether you noticed that, but we've got Varadin in here. And we also have <laughs> the legend himself. Uh, I believe his name is ESJB. Is that? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He is actually in here. And that is kind of crazy. Okay, so we're going to try and get around them a little bit. Ah, oh, that was not, not really working out too well. But my forces are charging through them. Maybe doing a little bit of damage here and there. Nice! There we go. We killed a Khan's guard. You can see that I'm actually a lot better against AI than I am against actual players. So, yeah, it's probably because, in general, as I say, AI is never going to be as good as an actual player. So, thankfully, we do have some people here that are kind of like uh, horse archers or something like that. The Bedouins? I think they're really good. Oh, that was friendly fire. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not know about friendly fire. Well, that's, that's interesting. Well, uh, maybe we can take this? Do you think we can actually take this? It's gonna be difficult to take this, actually, because... Well... Uh, yes. I mean, oh, it's actually not even necessary for us to take this anymore, because the A flag has been taken. Oh, okay, well, uh, where is the A flag? Oh, okay, oh, wait a minute, look at this. We have some additional, additional things popping up here. Okay, so these are... All kinds of different commands. This is what I got from view orders, by the way. So usually, when you would, uh, you know, click view orders with whatever button you wanted to, you know, click with. So in other words, you could rebind it by default. It is uh, backspace. And uh, usually I would rebind it to middle mouse button because it is just a lot easier to use. And that's exactly what I've done here. So I'm pressing middle mouse button to get that menu up. And you can see that it gives us movement, it gives us follow me, and face enemy, and line, fire at will, and something else which is not filled in just yet. A huge amount of horses right here. I don't know how to bring up the... Okay, I have no idea how to bring up the map. Oh, okay, apparently we won that. Apparently we won this. Oh, this is kind of hilarious. We're actually up against the Kuzade Carnate, and the Kuzade Carnate are extremely good with basically everything. Well, I mean, everything horse-related. And, uh, yeah, Camel's OP. Camel's OP, says Brandis. Well, I don't know. Are they? Look, this is... Uh, th these are the... Wait. Are these are these not the camels? Wait a minute. Let's have a look here. Oh, okay. So with the Bedouins, you can actually go and get camels. If you want to. Oops, I... Yeah, I selected the wrong thing. Oh, well, never mind. I, I kind of wanted to have a look, but unfortunately I got into this game 
after the warm-up phase was over, so I can't actually show you the overview of what I uh, actually wanted to do. I actually wanted to show you all the, the various classes and things like that, and I actually wanted to equip a whole bunch of the camels and everything, and I'm actually just going to follow my team right here, because teamwork is the name of the game in these things, and especially considering I really don't kill that much by myself, let's face it. Oh, nice! 92 damage. That was pretty good. And uh, it seems like the horse archers do get themselves pretty murdered here. It's pretty nice. Oh, look at that! Very nice! Good work! Good work, one of my one of my men. Very nice. I'm actually kind of surprised. <laughs> Can you tell? Yes, I'm very surprised. There we go. We killed a mounted archer. Yay! Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna see if I could. Oh, oh, we oh we took couch lance damage. I'm 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 down. Okay, let's be a bit careful here. I can very easily die. Oh, okay. No, never mind. Apparently. Apparently I'm, I'm okay so far. I can bring out my sword, and I have javelins as well. Who's that guy? Is that guy actually someone I need to kill? Oh, I'm actually pretty happy that I have a- Oh! I actually hit! Can you believe it? I hit with a thrown weapon! Wow! This is amazing! Yes, I'm, I'm, I gotta say, I actually much prefer the captain mode, and I've only played this for a very small amount of time so far. I really very much prefer it. I think it is a lot more fun. Mainly because you just have a bunch of units that you can play with and have fun with, and you're not like you know you're not like singled out, shall we say? Because usually, if I'm playing by myself in a well in in the skirmish mode or something like that, it's gonna be pretty easy to kill me. So anyway, I'm just gonna tell my horse archers just to charge straight on in here, and we'll see if we can maybe do some. Oh my! <laughs> Friendly fire. Friendly fire. Thankfully, this is just the beta, and I don't actually have to worry about killing my own units in a in a proper match. So I, I apologize again profusely to my men and also to my teammates because oh, can I can I yeah I can get on this. There we go. Fantastic. All right, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I, I think someone actually told me that you can get on any mount in the beta, and it doesn't matter what. Um, Oh wow, I actually killed another player. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Anyway, it doesn't matter what kind of riding skill you actually have. So that's pretty cool, in my opinion. I have no idea where my forces are. So what I'm going to do is we're going to <laughs> not charge. No, we don't want them to charge. Let's, uh... oh wow, follow me. Yes. Oh, that's, a, that's actually a really cool menu. That is a really cool menu. So I actually pressed three and then I pressed F1 for movement. And then you can press what you want from those selections. So, in other words, you can stop, you can retreat, you can return. It's pretty crazy. So, I think that's really, really nice. I think they've done a great job on the uh, on the commands and things like that. I really, really like that. I am more so than ever actually really loving the uh, the changes to to the game engine and all that sort of thing because. When I was playing in the skirmish mode, I was like, okay, well, I I like it because it's Bannerlord. You know, I like I like it because it's Bannerlord, but I don't really like the game mode. I'm I'm being honest here, I don't really like the game mode because I'm not really a multiplayer person, but I absolutely love the game physics. I, I explored a whole bunch of the various uh, kinds of units that you're going to be playing in in general, you know, or you're going to be using, shall we say. And this is just so much better because this gives me the kind of feeling that a normal single player game would probably give you as well, where it is going to be like this. It's going to be like this, where you have a whole bunch of units coming alongside you and you're able to do some significant damage in some way or another with, you know, cavalry or whether you're an archer or something like that. We're going to be changing and uh, trying out a couple of other um, other classes as well, so don't worry about that. I'm just having a bit of fun right now just to sort of get myself affiliate, uh, you know, a bit more familiar with everything. And we'll see how it goes. And uh, maybe, is that a flag? Is that a flag? Do you have a flag? Yeah, oh, this is this is indeed the flag. Did we take this? No, there we go. Okay, I'm actually going to take this. I'm a bit worried. Oh, oh, look at those guys. Oh, they, look at those archers. They're doing a good job. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, let's tell my forces to charge in. Let's tell my forces to go in. 
And uh, let's try and see if I can maybe do something here. Bear in mind that I have no shield, so if there is an enemy archer somewhere, we're probably gonna die. Let's just let's just say that. Anyway, let's see if we can do something here. Okay, a little bit of damage, nothing really to write home about. And maybe we can do some... Oh, no, never mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Not too bad. Uh, maybe we can tackle that guy. Oh, yeah, we did some damage. And what's really cool about the data that they give you, I don't know whether you've noticed, they give you a whole bunch of data with how much you have done in terms of movement speed, what body part you've hit. It's really, really cool. And also what body part you're getting hit on as well. So that's really nice. So basically what you can do is you can kind of analyze what kind of unit is, uh, you know, basically you can basically say like, uh, okay, so I'm fighting these skirmishers. They tend to be hitting me on my legs or something like that. And this is, uh, let's say you're at the beginning of the game, you know, in single player Battle Lord that is. And let's say you want to upgrade a particular piece of armor, but you only have enough money for one piece of armor. And you're going to be like, okay, so they're hitting me mostly on my legs. So, in other words, what do you do? You buy some leg armor, you know? And that's the, that's the cool thing about that, that various little bit of data right there. Because you may think that it's not exactly useful, but I would say it's definitely useful in that respect. So anyway, uh, I think that is the final flag, actually. Yeah, I think, I think indeed this is the final flag, so I don't think we really need to worry about this. I am going to select my cavalry once again, and we are going to tell them to follow me. And these guys are horse archers. Could, could you ever have thought that I'd use horse archers? <laughs> oh, never in a million years. No, never in a million years. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun with them. Uh, I guess they're just in general good. And I think in general my team is just good. I think that's really the, the main thing here. They are just absolutely murdering everything. And that is making everything very easy for me specifically. Because I actually really don't have to do that much. And you can see there, there is another round victory. And so there you go. A nice victory in captain mode. Alright, so we have entered into another captain's mode game. This time we are playing as the Kuzate Carnate. Okay, this is going to be pretty interesting because we are up against... Oh dear. We seem to be up against Sturgia. Now Sturgia, in my opinion, is one of the strongest factions, mainly just because of their Huskars. I think their Huskars are going to be pretty scary, but maybe that's just me. I don't exactly know what I'm going to be playing as here, because let's face it, if you're playing as a horse archer and you're going up against Huskars, it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be really hard, because those Huskars are going to have really good shields. Really, really good shields. And I would love if I could, to be able to take a look at some of the classes before I even head in. I suppose what I could do is I could go to my customization menu and take a look at them in there, but I kind of really wanted to get into a, another captain mode game. It's just so fun. I feel like the captain mode is really good, and I think they've done a great job on it so far. And uh, this is, of course, just uh, one of the first times that I'm able to even uh, even play it. So that is a really, really cool thing. Uh, and I love all the I love all the physics. I love all the physics as well because you're you're getting all these all these deaths right here and all these different ragdolls are going on, you know, like every single time someone dies, it seems to be unique. you know, I mean, I, maybe it's not unique, but the point is is that there seem to be a lot of different death animations. I don't think there are actually death animations, quote unquote. I think it is literally all freeform in every single way, but of course, I don't know, I haven't seen that many units die yet specifically because I've always been on a horse or something like that so far, and in the skirmish mode, I barely killed anything. Thankfully, thanks to the addition of the captain mode, I'm actually not doing too badly this time around, and I have a pretty decent kill-death ratio, but that is only because of the addition of AI, of course. But as I say, I'm much better against AI than I am against players, and hopefully we'll get, uh, you know, we'll get a bit of a chance to try things out here. So we've got some Khan's Guards right here. I might play as some Khan's Guards. Not entirely sure. Just yet. Seems like this guy is our MVP. I think he might be our MVP on our team. I'm actually not entirely sure. I think he's killed many, many things. So, ah, uh, yeah. It seems like apparently we have 
a uh, AFK person, which is actually kind of a shame because, uh, well, I mean, who knows? Maybe they had to go and do something. Sometimes they, you know, sometimes life does get in the way of, uh, you know, playing playing some games. But who knows? Who knows what's happened? So yeah. Otherwise, this guy is doing really, really well as far as I'm aware. I looked at the scoreboard just a minute ago. He had like, I don't know, 39 kills and like 12 deaths. So he's done a really good job. Anyway, we've got some rabble here. We've got spear infantry, step bow, Khan's guards, nomads, lancers, and mounted archers. I think I'm going to play with lancers. I think lancers could be pretty fun. A glaive, versatile polearm, not so dependent on horse speed. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use the glaive. Should I use the glaive? Oh, no. Now I'm, oh, now I'm terrible. Now I am really, really... Oh, I'm, I'm going to be kicking myself if this sucks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, no. It seems okay. It seems okay. All right. So I'm just going to move the camera out again, and we're just going to take our forces and follow our uh, follow our people. I have no idea where to go, so I'm just going to follow them, and hopefully they know where to go. Yeah, this guy knows where to go, so we're just going to be following him. Whoa, he has a huge... What? They have a huge amount of spear infantry right there. All right, so... I am wondering if I press M. No, there's no map. Okay, so I assume I just have to use the compass to try and find the correct area. And I guess I'm just going to have to. Oh, hello there. Let's raise my shield shield up a little bit. Do do no damage apparently as well because no damage is the way to go. Ah, I did no damage. Fantastic. Let's tell my people to charge in and see if we can do something. Oh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I am very bad, yes. Let's just say that. I am very bad with a lance slash spear thing. Thankfully, we're capturing this. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to tell my people to follow me now. Because I have kind of warded off the enemy, so to speak. So I think that's kind of nice. You know what I'd like to see? I know this seems like a little bit of a unrealistic thing. And I don't know how people would feel about this. But personally... What I'd really love to see is once you've captured a flag, maybe to get like a bit of a heal, like a 25% heal or something like that. I know that seems like that's probably a little bit uh, meh to some people, but for me and for you know for people that are not exactly great at this kind of thing, might be kind of you know might be kind of cool. But anyway, I guess I shouldn't have taken the damage to begin with. All right, so let's see what I can. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is. Oh, oh dear. Oh, we, we might actually do something here. We might actually do something. Yes. My forces are doing a pretty nice job. Are they? I think so. Let's just tell them to charge in once again. And, oh, they have some archers. Do you see those archers at the back there? We should probably charge those archers as best we can. Let's try and do that. That is a berserker or something along those lines. We probably don't want to do that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Friendly fire. So sorry. That happens. It happens more often than I would like. And it seems like we are absolutely massacring them, which is really nice. Actually kind of surprising. There we go. Another 50 damage. And I've got to be careful here. I'm really low in HP. I can get killed extremely easily. Okay, so let's get my forces to follow me once again. I love the animations that happen when you actually give commands to your units. It seems like my people were around here. Oh no, that's not me. Where's my guys? I don't even know where my guys are. They seem to be killing things. I think. There's one of them. <laughs> they seem to get carried away, just like I do. Uh, oh well, never mind. I think we're doing all right. There we go. Killed a brigand right there. And maybe we can kill a couple of others. There we go. There's another one. And uh, yeah, I, there, there's definitely a little bit of a weird delay going on with the uh, with the with the spears. But I think that's uh, I think that's just me. I think that is just me. And there's this guy. He's pro That's probably a player, right? I think that's probably a player. He's probably going to be... Ooh, ca oh, careful. I'm so sorry if I hit you by mistake, people. Because that can happen. Very easy. Okay, let's try and do some damage. Are they raising their shields up? Ah, uh, okay. Well, oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the dance. You know, it's the dance that all cavalry with spears do when they have those spears and they're trying to walk around each other and try to get the best possible speed bonus. Stuff like that always happens. Okay, so let's see if we can do some damage to him. He's got his shield out. He's got his shield out. That's fine, though. That's fine. We got him. We got him. Can you believe it? Okay, I can't believe it. Really. 
Okay, so thankfully I'm using this glaive because that actually helps me quite a bit in these kinds of situations where I don't really need a huge amount of uh, horse speed. That really does help quite a bit. And maybe we can capture this flag. Are we, are we actually capturing it? Yes, we are actually capturing it. That's fantastic. Okay, so once we capture this, this is going to help us out quite a bit. And hopefully... Ah, uh, I thought I, I thought I'd cut him off right there, but apparently not. My horse is pretty injured. I don't know whether that really affects the speed. It doesn't seem to really affect the speed so far, so I don't think we really need to worry too much about it. But yeah, I have literally no units left because I think I, I allowed them way too much freedom. But we apparently won. We apparently won, and that is indeed another victory for us in captain mode. And I think I got five or six kills. Alright, so we've actually gotten into a captain mode game with the warm-up phase still intact. And we are playing as the Empire. Isn't this fantastic? This gives me an opportunity to go through some of the perks and everything for each and every class. So, as you can see here, we have the base unit, which is actually really good. You can see here, these infantry have improved armor. They have these uh, heavy spear kind of... Th oh dear. Did I just... Yeah, I just selected them, didn't I? Did I, did I just select them? Yeah, no, never mind. Okay, so apparently it is just starting now. So, ah, oh, great. Ah, great. Okay, so yeah, the, anyway, these are small throwing darts, so that's not really going to work out too well. Guess I'm going to try playing as a legionary, and we'll play with a heavy mace. I love the heavy mace. I think the heavy mace could be really fun. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be the first time that I'm playing really with a infantry properly because in the skirm in the skirmish mode I am pretty awful yes pretty awful with the uh, <laughs> with the fighting in that but uh, now that I have some people helping me out in the form of my own units and I don't know how to turn around the camera anymore seems like I can't turn around the camera with the uh, the, uh, the the button next to one on your keyboard you know what it is you know that thing anyway Unfortunately, I can't do that. Uh, this seems to be our first flag loca location, which is uh, B, I believe. And I think we should probably go to A, which is just in these ruins. And we'll probably try and see what's going on there. And uh, these are... All right, okay, so yeah. Also, there's the formations, by the way. You can go into shield wall. So I'm going to put my people into shield wall. I don't know if that makes them slower. It probably will make them slower. But personally, I kind of want to make sure that they are as defensive as possible. And we'll see how that goes. You know what? Maybe I should go over to B and just be defensive. Because keeping the flags is like one of the most important things to do in this game mode. And if we're going to win... And that's basically the one thing that we've got to do. Got to be a bit careful here as well, because I don't know whether you noticed, but there are some archers, I think, over there, trying to do trying to do something. And let's get my forces over here too, because I'm basically by myself. So if we can stay here and maybe uh, prevent, our P well, prevent our flag from being taken. There you go. So both flags are going to be removed in 30 seconds. So this is really good. As you can see, there are archers on the hill over there. And they are trying to shoot at us, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. You can do that if you want to. I have no problem with that. Now, by the way, there are shield bashes. There are shield bashes in Bannerlord. And you can see that right there. Boom. If you're holding right click, you know, right mouse button, your block button, whatever that may be. And then you can press E, which is your kick button usually. Then you can, you know, do what you have to do with that. So let's see if we, uh, see if we can kill them. Oh, wow. That's, that's, a, lot, that's a lot of damage. Okay, so let's tell my people to charge in right now. I'm sure we can take care of them. Legionaries, yes, thank you very much for actually being good at helping me because I was really worried for a second there that I was going to get murdered by some really low-tier units. That would have been my, my luck, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely been my luck. Okay, so let's try and take them out. Oh, wow, okay, these guys, wow, they do a lot of damage. Okay, thankfully I am using a mace. So, I love maces. But it is not, uh, it's not working out too well for me at the moment, as you can see. Wow, we are almost dead. Really almost dead. But thankfully, look at this. Because I stayed here, well, maybe not because of me, but because of some thing, and may maybe me, maybe a little bit me, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to tell my infantry to follow me. And uh, actually, should I just tell them to continue charging? Nah, you know, let's, let's just keep this flag because the morale, I think, is represented by the stars at the top of the screen. That is almost 
maxed out. And that is going to be uh, our victory, I guess, once once that is done. So hopefully that will be a thing very soon. <laughs> and I've got to be... <laughs> I got hit in the leg. I got hit in the leg. I couldn't do anything about that. I had my shield up. I really did have my shield up. There wasn't anything I could do. So hopefully my forces will be able to win the day here. I mean, I think we're going to be able to. I mean, let's face it, the enemy only has like 75% of a star. So we should theoretically be able to do this. We are up against Batania. We are up against Batania. We know how effective their units can be. Even their light units. You can see how effective their light units are. And we are playing as the Empire right now. So bear, bear that in mind. Look at this. They actually took B. That's crazy. I think they might actually win this. They might actually win this. Isn't that insane? Yeah, they did a very good job taking that back. I was uh, way too damaged. That's the point. I was way too damaged from the previous little fights that I partook in. And I think the main reason for that is the heavy mace. I know, I know. Crazy to think that my weapon could make it so that I took more damage. But I think the reason for it is because of the limited reach that the mace has. So in other words, I had to go closer into enemies. And as a result, they were able to deal more damage to me. Now, hopefully these archer militia, despite being just militia, will be able to kill that last archer. Yes, they were able to, thankfully. And uh, it seems like we only have one, one, one guy still remaining and he is using archer militia. Oh, that's actually really, really interesting. This is a very interesting, uh, very interesting like vantage point that he has here. I gotta say that. Unfortunately, it looks as though the enemy is going to prevail and I don't, I don't, well, I mean, there's only one enemy left. So who knows? And they're, they, oh, they're savages as well. Oh, that's interesting. That is really interesting. Oh, no, no, they do have some archers as well still remaining. Okay, this is going to be problematic. Because if they had, if they didn't have archers and they only had savages remaining, savages, I believe, usually do not have shields. Or maybe they do. <laughs> Seems like these guys actually do have shields. But yeah, for the most part, uh, I think we would probably have a victory here if... Oh, he's doing really well. He's really fighting very, very hard here and doing fantastically. Considering he's playing as an archer militia, it's kind of crazy. And there you go, he got taken out. Because bear in mind, the Batanians, they have fantastic archers. They really do. They have really good archers. Unfortunately, that was... Uh, that was just not, uh, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. As you can see, they're just outnumbered. They are just outnumbered completely. And these savages, they have two-handed, um, like, curved swords. And uh, it's just not, not going to happen, as you can see. Look at that. That was pretty insane. Wow. That was a nice win, though. That was a really nice win for them. They did a very good job. And, uh, yeah, I got to say that was really nice. Otherwise, we have recruits right here. They can use spears, shields, extra javelins. We have archer militia, which can use light crossbows, small axes. We have palatine guards who can use longbows. And we have courses and cataphracts. I guess, you know what I'm going to do? Should I? I'm going to get a... I'm going to get a spear. Should I get a spear? Oh no, this is bad. This is so bad. Okay. Hey guys, I'm playing as an archer again. Don't blame me if bad things happen. It, uh, you can just wait and see. Yes, look, this is first person mode as well. This, uh, yeah, I think I think uh, I have my FOV way too, way too um, wide for first person view. It gives me a little bit of the fisheye thing going on. So I think I probably need to, you know, tone that down a little bit. But otherwise, I think that's fine. It seems like we have some courses here. They're ready to charge in. So sorry, didn't mean to get in front of you. And there's B. So we have to be a bit careful about this. Flag A has been captured. That's nice. Okay, let's let's bring out my... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this is, this is bad. Alright, let's tell my forces just to go there. There you go. Okay, stand there, guys. I'm sure you're going to be much better than I am at doing what you do. And maybe we can do some damage to those guys. Oh, wow. This bow is not very good. Let's just say that. Uh, oh, I hit someone. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Hit them on the arm. That's not good enough. Yes, there we go. Another little bit of damage. Okay, now, now a little bit more. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, we're doing some damage. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Very good. Oh! That guy just ran straight into us. That was fantastic. Wow, that was actually really cool. Okay, so yeah, otherwise we're taking this flag and we've got B over here. So I guess what we should do is just tell my archers to follow me. And we'd, we'll take we'll take B. Why, why don't we why don't we take B? Do we not want to take B? Is there a, is there a deeper strategy that I am not aware of? Probably. Let's face it. There probably is a only flag B remaining. Oh, nice. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna take this and then we'll maybe win as a result. Who knows? I'm being shot at, by the way. Don't know whether you can whether you can see that. Yeah, I'm I'm doing very well as a, as a result of this. Okay, so let's just tell them to hold position right there. And we'll do some damage to these guys. I am a little bit closer now. Yeah, there we are. No, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's pretty hard firing from such a far distance with such a terrible bow. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I mean, that's the point. The, these guys, I don't even know whether they are the, uh, the proper archers. And maybe I need to... I don't know, maybe I need to try using a crossbow or something like that, but uh, we've taken this and that's all I really wanted to do because I think that is actually going to give us the victory because it seems like we're doing fantastic... Oh! Oh! Oathbound! Do you see those Oathbound kills? What? The Oathbound are just going crazy right there! Wow, they really did a, ma a massive amount of damage. I wonder if my forces can actually run out of arrows. It seems like they can. Can they? Yeah, it seems like they can. So that's good, at least, because otherwise they'd be really powerful. And I'm kind of worried about this, to be honest. I I, I don't even know. Should I, should I go over there and help them out? Because I'd kind of like to stay here and uh, maybe... Do you think I can... Uh, uh, there, there, are, there aren't any people that have died in my party so far, so I can't pick up any other arrows either, which is a bit of a problem. But... Uh... How many enemies are alive still? There's three players still alive on the enemy team. Actually, no, there isn't. There are no more players left. Actually, there's one more. There's one more. My bad. All right. So, is it going to come down to me and me and that guy? I really hope it doesn't come down to me and that guy. No, I still have one more person on my team that is still alive. I don't have any arrows, though. And these guys have arrows. So that is... Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, come on, guys. Come over here. Come over here quickly. <laughs> this is not going to work. Oh, dear. Okay, let's tell them to charge. Let's tell them to charge straight on in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's absolutely go right now. Let's take them out. Let's take them out as best we can. No. No. <laughs> oh, no, I got my bow. Oh, yeah, that's just not going to work. That is just not going to work. I need to get my sword out, but we don't have sh we don't have shields. But look at this. We're almost actually victorious. We need to have our, our guy go down there and try to prevent the flag from, uh, from being taken. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Those Oathbound guys. Those Oathbound guys are really, really good. They are really, really good. But I did I did say that me playing as an archer is probably not the best idea. So, yeah, anyway, they were using recurve bows. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the recurve bow, but that's maybe just me. Anyway, let's see if we can... Uh, let's see if we, what, what, what we can do here. Improved armor. Do I want to really play without shields? I don't want to play without shields. Should we do this? I guess we'll do this with a mace, I guess. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I really don't know. Okay, well, let's just go with this. Can he can he couch can he couch with this? Doesn't doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. No. Okay. Well, anyway, let's just go to A straight up. Really, really fast. Just go to A. Take that. Like no one's business. And then we will. Oh, there's the mace. Okay, so the mace is. Yeah, the mace is kind of kind of interesting. Not a big fan of the lower lower reach on it, I gotta say that. And we do have a shield now at least. The shield is really going to be quite useful. As you can see, there are oh look at that. I don't know whether you've noticed about that that, but the shield actually has different 
stances, if you see what I mean. So the shield can go on the left side of your body and on the center or right side of your body. So it depends on where where the archers are, or, you know, where your where your shield's going to be. And you can change that by just pressing right click again. So that's actually kind of interesting. Okay, so we've taken A, and now probably what we want to do is probably want to go and help out in the center over here. So I'm going to get out my spear again. And we're probably going to try and take this. This is going to be hard to take. Because these are savages. And I'm just going to let my guys just run right through. Because I don't really want them to stop. If at all possible. Because let's face it, we're probably going to have the advantage if we continue moving around them. In such a way. Oh, the Oathbound are so good. The Oathbound are really, really good. That is kind of harsh. And you can see here, they're actually killing my units extremely easily as well. So should probably keep away from those guys, at least for the moment. And just make sure that A does not get taken. That's the main thing we've got to be a bit aware of here. And maybe we can do some hit and run attacks. There we go. We can just kill one or two every time we go through here. And maybe not get ourselves murdered. A is the only flag still remaining. Okay, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, so let's see. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. This is basically me against a whole bunch of people. So hopefully my team will appear randomly <laughs> and hopefully help me out a little bit. All right, so here we go. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, we killed some of those archers. Let's try and harass them a little bit here. My horse is really injured, by the way. I don't know whether you can see that. My horse is really badly injured. So this is not, oh, this is not good. This is not good. I, I have a feeling it's going to happen the exact same thing that has happened the last two rounds where the enemy is just going to absolutely murder our forces and then just, yeah, look at that. These archers are so good. And this is, this is Batania. I said that Batania was my least favorite faction, but that is very quickly changing because of how effective their archers have turned out. Their archers have been extremely good in this captain mode demonstration. And I don't know what else I can say. They're just so good. They really are. And uh, they don't even need to be good in, in ranged combat or anything like that. They only need to really be good when it comes to defending themselves in melee. And they're really good at that. They're really, really good at that. But of course, I was defending, I think, against like three people. So I couldn't really do too much when my team was up here on the hill. They're doing a really, really good job, by the way. I'm not criticizing them in the least. They're doing really, really nicely. They're keeping their forces intact, which is exactly what they've got to do. But A is being taken, and we do need to take it back before their morale exceeds a certain level. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. But otherwise, how many enemies are alive? There are three enemies alive on the enemy team and three, three allies alive on our team. So this is... Ooh, this is really, really close. This is really, really close. So if they can work together, they're working really nicely as a team. They really are. They stayed together really nicely. I thought that my my role at the flag was going to be decent. I didn't think I was going to, you know, get myself killed that easily. But against the best archers, I think they are the best archers at least, that Britannia has to offer, they're really good. Also, these Oathbound guys, by the way, these Oathbound guys... They are super good. They are super, super good. You can see that right now. Look at them. They're just running into basically anything and just murdering them. Just absolutely slaughtering every single thing they come up against. So I definitely think that anyone that is going to play as Batania, you're going to have an amazing time. You really are going to have an amazing time because you're going to be playing with these Oathbound guys and the Fian guys as well. Those Fian guys, the, the best archers, are just going to be insane. Because imagine it. You've got these you've got these oathbound at the at the front, right? So you've got them defending your archers, and then you've got the archers behind you on like an elevation or something like that. And no one's gonna be able to do anything to you, really. Because if you think about it, it's basically just insane, just probably impossible, almost impossible for anyone to get close because the archers are so good. The Oathbound themselves come with javelins. So 
them having javelins themselves, that's, that's just insane. That's crazy. So, yeah, it's really, really good. Anyway, I think our team might actually win here because the enemy only has one player remaining and they are an archer player by the looks of things and our team has archers and cavalry so we should be able to win this you can see here that this guy has a whole bunch of cataphracts as far as i'm aware and it's working out pretty nicely so far i think he uh, yeah i mean look he's got th he's got three archers and uh did i just see that did you see that 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 unit actually picked up some more arrows. Can you actually tell your units to pick up additional arrows? Wow. If you can tell them to do that, I think that's really amazing. Can you imagine? Wow. Can you imagine the applications in single player though? Like literally you have a bunch of archers that have just run out of a, you know, run out of arrows and let's say you end up killing a whole bunch of enemy archers. And in which case they can just pick up the enemy's archers' arrows and then just begin firing at the enemy's reinforcements. That's crazy. But it seems like, as you can see right here, the highly specialized archers of the enemy, they have done a fantastic job, but not good enough this time. Not good enough this time, thankfully. Wow, I'm actually really surprised that we were able to pull that off. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, so long battle axe, short bow, and longer, stronger, but slower two-handed lance. Now I'm just going to keep with the battle axe here. Going to try and play a cataphract this time around. We've played as a legionary, we've played as a palatine guard, and we've played as a courser. And so far, I kind of like the legionary the most, even though I didn't really do too well as it. I kind of like the whole infantry thing. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes here. Hopefully, I will be able to survive, basically. I think surviving is a big thing. So let's see if we, we can just see where my forces are going to go. See where our team is actually going to go. Maybe we want to go to C straight up. Do we want to go to C straight up? It seems like, uh, yeah, it seems like the enemy are also coming to C, as you can see there. Ah, uh, as you can see, yes. <laughs> and we don't have a shield. So against Batanian's archers, that's going to be really bad, you know. That is going to be really bad. But maybe we can charge them, you know. Shall we, shall we just, you know what? I'm actually partially thinking we should just go crazy and just charge straight on in to their archers. Because we don't want them to pick us off or anything like that, but that could be an absolute suicidal charge. It could be. Absolutely suicidal. So, I don't know whether we really want to do that. So, maybe... Uh, you know what? Shall we just charge in straight here? Shall we just charge in straight here? Let's do this. Oh yeah, that really worked. Oh, okay. Apparently my forces are behind me. Uh, where, where, where are my guys? Did they just run on? I think they just ran on. Oh well, never mind. Okay, let's see if we can do some damage here then. Okay, that, that did 93, but I didn't kill him. Are you serious right now? <laughs> oh, okay, well, apparently not. That's interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to get out my long axe then instead. Maybe that's going to do something. Because if 93 damage from a lance can't kill the guy, then I have no idea. Okay, you know what? Just gonna get off. I'm just gonna... Okay. Well, <laughs> that... I I have no idea. I was, I was just shocked. I really don't know. I really don't know what the hell that was. That was just crazy. Oh well, never mind. I, I thought 93 damage was more than likely going to kill some, some guy, but apparently not. Anyway, I think we're probably going to... Are we going to end up winning this? We might... We might no, yeah, maybe? Mm, well, I got myself killed pretty uselessly, to be honest. And that was... Disappointing, to say the least. But I, I gotta say, I am not a terribly big fan of the spear on a mount combat. I think that's very difficult for me, specifically. And I think it's a lot more difficult than in Warband. And I have no idea how to couch lance in the, in this game in comparison to in Warband because in Bannerlord you can't press X. As far as I'm aware, you don't press X to do the uh, the couch lancing or anything like that. And I don't know how to do it in. Uh, I do know how to do it in Warband, of course, where you know it's it's X or it's you know just normal for that lance to be able to do that. So maybe I don't know. Maybe there's a, a setting that I'm not not aware of. Maybe there's something that I need to do. But 
Otherwise, I'm having a lot of fun. I think that in general, my favorite so far has been playing as the as a Rai. And uh, that is in the very first match that we had. I think that was my favorite experience so far, mainly because I was actually able to do something, you know? I was actually able to play as a mounted unit and actually able to inflict damage. And that is a big, big thing for enjoyment's sake. You know, feeling like you're actually useful, <laughs> that's a big thing. And me, uh, I'm not entirely useful most of the time, as you could no doubt tell there. I basically just threw away my cataphract unit, literally just because I was trying to get some kills with my, my, my axe, and the axe is, in my opinion, pretty difficult to use as well. I don't know what it is, but it feels to me like the mounted combat is a little bit more difficult than in Warband, because in Warband you can just aim your camera down to the side or to the left or left or right, and then you can just sl slash through some enemy, and then you'll usually kill them if they don't have a shield or if, you, if they've lowered their shield or whatever the case may be. But in Bannerlord, that is not the case. It is a little bit of a different swinging arc. It's a bit of a different arc. And uh, that's that's definitely what's going on there. But yeah, you're all going to be checking that out in a few months. If you're not into the beta or anything like that, who knows? They, they, they might be, I don't know, they might, is there going to be an open beta? I doubt, that's probably, the, that's, that is the Steam Early Access, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, scratch what I just said. Great. Anyway, I am looking forward to playing some more of Captain Mode. If you would like to see more from me, then by all means let me know. Because I would like to definitely play as Azariah again. I feel like Azariah might be my faction. It might very well be my faction that I choose to play as. Because they seem... They seem pretty enjoyable. They seem pretty enjoyable, and I think that is definitely going to be a big factor for me. I don't really care whether a unit is really powerful or not. But, yeah, Azurai is looking pretty fun. Alright, so that will be it from me for the Captain Mode, at least for this episode. And if you would like to see more from me, then let me know. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.